Uh, Madam Chair, Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Secretary General of World Meteorological Organization, Mr. Michel Jarreau, it is a great pleasure to address you on the occasion of the third uh, session of the Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction, which takes place in the aftermath of significant disasters in many parts of the world. Indeed, meteorological, hydrological, and climate extremes, such as floods, tropical cyclones, storm surges, extreme temperatures, droughts and wildfires, and health epidemics, insect infest infestations related to meteorological conditions continue to cause major devastations worldwide. These natural hazards cause significant loss of life and set back socioeconomic development by years, if not decades. As expressed in the fourth assessment report of Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, there is increasing evidence of greater vulnerability to the risk associated with meteorological, hydrological, and climate hazards due to climate vulnerability and change. Over the last few decades, meteorological, hydrological, and climate analysis and forecasting have become increasingly accurate and available as a result of remarkable international cooperation facilitated by the World Meteorological Organization. This involves globally coordinated research and an operational network engaging the scientific and research community, as well as the national meteorological and hydrological services of 189 member states. On a global scale, as revealed by the statistics for the past five decades, the economic losses attributable to hydrometeorological hazards have increased by nearly 50 times. However, uh, the reported loss of life has decreased dramatically du during the same period by a factor of about 10 as a consequence of development of early warning systems in a number of high-risk countries thanks in particular to advances in meteorological forecasting combined with effective coordinated emergency preparedness and planning at national to local levels. WMO is working to ensure that meteorological, hydrological, and climate services can be available beyond early warning systems to risk assessment, to support risk reduction, and risk transfer opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, as demonstrated through examples in many countries, spending on improving weather forecasting and data sharing are high return on investments. This was demonstrated in the recent report of the World Bank and United Nations on natural hazard on natural disasters. Thus, all governments are highly encouraged to commit investments towards development of the capacities to this kind of development. Virtually all sectors uh, act activities experience significant economic impacts linked to weather, climate, and hydrological conditions. For a world faced with meteorological hazards, understanding of how climate is changing is key for planning effective risk reduction strategies. The extraordinary progress in climate modeling and forecasting over the last decade provides us with unprecedented opportunities for the development of climate services that will underpin the management of risk through informed, medium, and long-term planning and risk management strategies. In 2009, at the, world, at the Third World Climate Conference, this issue was discussed, and this conference, which was participated by heads of agencies and ministers, decided to establish a global framework for climate services aimed at providing better climate services to all. To do this, we need improved capability in climate data collection and exchange, continued investment in high quality scientific research, improved communication systems that can reach all climate service users, and lastly, but possibly most importantly, global, regional, national, and local cooperation and coordination. We will need the support of every nation and organization presented in this conference as we move forward with the Global Framework for Climate Services. And we look forward to working with you all so that we can make this world safe, safer and most prosperous for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you.